Hi and welcome to this demonstration on K nearest neighbors algorithm. So basically what we have over here is we have the data for cell nuclei. We have around 10 features. As you can see over here, we have the columns of the data set as code ID, clump thickness, uniformity of the cell size, uniformity of cell shape and so on. And at the end, you can see this is the label, the class of the data. So if the label is two, it is benign. If it is four, then it is malignant. So these are all the columns that we have from the data set. We are going to implement a K nearest neighbors algorithm to solve this particular problem statement over here, where we shall be predicting if the tumor is benign or malignant. So let's get started. As usual, we will start with importing all the requisite libraries that we need and next we are going to import the data set. So in this data, I have stored this data in a CSV file, breastcancerwisconsin.csv and let us quickly import this into a pandas data frame and we will also have a preview of this data. So as you can see from the preview of the data, we have all the features and for class we have values as 2 and 4 indicating benign and malignant respectively. We will go ahead and check some basic information of the data as usual and we will say df.info. So you can see that it's a good data set where we don't have any missing values and all the values are numerical but if you closely observe the output we have one column which is bare nuclei and the data type over here is an object which means that the data type is string. So this data type as you know pandas automatically detects based on what data that the column has. So if you look at the preview, this column seems to have all numerical data. But if you look at the information, pandas has detected it as an object data. So that means that there is a possibility that there are some missing values within this particular data and these particular missing values might be in some other format rather than np.nan values. So what we do is we go ahead and convert this column bare nuclei to numeric using pd.2 underscore numeric. If any value in that column cannot be converted to numeric, it's automatically replaced by nan values. This is what errors is equal to coerce is going to do. Then let's check df.info again. Now the data type of bare underscore nuclei column is numeric. But if you can see this column now has some null values which is being detected. Let's find out the summary of nulls in our data set by performing df.esna.sum we can see that there are null only in bare nuclei column and there are 16 missing values over there. For now, let's drop these nulls and in place is set to true to update the original data frame df. Let's now check the shape of the data. If you see earlier, we had 699 values and now after we drop all the missing values, we have 683 values in total. So let's once again preview the data set. If you look at the very first feature ID, it is nothing but a serial number of that particular sample. And this feature or attribute does not add any value to our prediction. It is simply a mark or an identification for a particular sample and therefore it is best to drop this particular feature. So remember when you whenever you come across such features in your data set going forward 
it's best to drop these features. The main reason why we are dropping it because it is not adding any value to our model which we are going to build later. So what we are going to do is we are going to say df.drop, specify the column name and set in place is equal to true to update the original data frame. The next step we shall separate our features and target into separate objects x and y, split the data into train and test sets, we take the test size to be 25% and set random state to 33. Random state can in fact take any value, this is nothing but the seed for the random splitting of the data set and ensures the same data in train and test across multiple executions of this code. Now the next thing what we do is to instantiate the k neighbor classifier. We next train the model using the fit method and then we'll calculate the accuracy score using the knn.score method by passing the x test and y test values. What we have done over here is we have built the knn model with a default value of k, the nearest neighbor, which is 5. For this value, we have trained the model and obtained the accuracy score on the test set which comes out to 98.83%. Note knn.score is an alternate way to get the accuracy score apart from the accuracy underscore score method of the scikit-learn.metric class. With this a simple model that we have and remember we have done a very little pre-processing where we have just removed some of the empty or the missing values over here. In this particular case with k is equal to 5, our nearest neighbor classifier has given an accuracy of 98%. Let's next find out what's the best value of k. For that what we are going to do is we are going to use a range of neighbors, the value of k from 1 to 15. We are going to fit the particular model and we are going to train this particular model on every value of k and we will see what is the train and test accuracy that we get and we will select the model where we will get the best accuracy. So let's start with this. To begin with, I have some piece of code over here. I have created a range for the number of neighbors, which is k, starting from 1 to 14. Please note, range gives us values excluding the last element. And hence, here we have values generated using range function is from 1 to 14. Before starting the loop, we create empty lists for storing the training and the test accuracies. In every iteration, we keep changing the value of k, the number of neighbors. For every value of k, we train the model and obtain the training and test accuracy and save them in lists for training underscore accuracy and test underscore accuracy. Next, let's get a plot of training and test accuracy. The training accuracy is plotted by the blue line and the testing accuracy is plotted by the orange line. Based on this graph, we will have to decide what's the best value for k, the nearest neighbors, based on the accuracy values of training and testing. We see that the training accuracy and even the testing accuracy is maximum at the point where the value of k is 7. We shall ignore the accuracy values when k is equal to 1. At k is equal to 1, these values are bound to be very high. So within this particular list of accuracies from k is equal to 2 onwards that we have, we have the best value for k is equal to 7 and therefore 
when we are training this particular model, what we can do is we can initialize the model with the number of neighbors with a value of 7 and we can get the best accuracy in that front. And let us quickly check what is that particular accuracy for training and testing for the number of neighbors is equal to 7. To obtain the accuracy values, we subset both the lists of training underscore accuracy and test underscore accuracy and provide an index of 6. At index 6, we have the accuracy value when k is equal to 7. You can see the training accuracy is 97.8 and the test accuracy is 99.4 and this is the best what we can get for this particular data set.